It's a weird image. It's very random. Ah, talking about Batman. I just muted it. I've been watching this documentary about Batman on Blu-ray. Kind of in the background while I do my Ninga Joe. Ninga Joe are New Year's cards, and I've actually made a vlog about this before, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing this year. Normally I buy cards like this. Say Happy New Year, you know, and they, uh, you've got some space in here to write, and then on the other side is your basic, you know, Japanese style of writing the address. So uh, you write the address like that and put your return address down there, and, uh, you know, the cards pre printed. And this year, you know, there's, it's the bunny, the bunny, the rabbit is the zodiac symbol for the new year, 2011. So there's just no end to cute bunnies. There's all of them. That's not going to focus. Uh, and so you've got <laughs> just very simplistic cards and then I'll write all in this white space and then you, you address it. But what I did this year was I bought some blank cards. So, um, I, I thought I would make my own Ninga Joe. So I bought some stamps, like this is a Snoop E stamp. Um, and I bought some multicolored ink. Uh, these are seals uh, or stickers. And you just uh, peel off the backing and you can stick it on. Um, this says, happy, no, if I turn it around, you can say Happy New Year. And it's very simple font. This is a very nice bunny. Uh, this is Peanuts again, which is very popular. It's not going to focus, but it's Woodstock. Uh, uh, another bunny thing. Uh, and then I bought this one stamp, uh, kind of separate, that says, Akemashite Omerito Gozaimasu, which uh, is, and I'll just show you right here on a piece of paper. So it kind of comes out all multicolored, although that didn't quite come out right because I haven't inked it recently. Um, and then I write below it something like, uh, let's see if I can find one really quick. I'll show you one here. So I'll write below it, Katoshi mo Hiroshiku And that's a very simple one where I wrote a lot of text. Some of them I'm putting more stamps on. Uh, some, some of them I'm doing this way up and down. Um, you know, I'm using the stamp there. And then I'll put a stamp on the back. Type of thing. So, um... You know, you write in this, the bunny space. Oh, that's upside down. But anyway, you get the idea. So, <laughs> I think I sent out, even from America last year, the, 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 my last year in Japan was probably my apex. I sent out like 70 or 80 cards. And it's 50 yen a card to mail. So that's like 4,000 yen on postage. Not even including the price on the cards, which, let's see, um, you know, this is three cards because they're kind of nice and they're raised and 210 yen for three. You can get better deals on some of the, the this is 210 yen uh, for this uh, design and you get eight. So they're, they're not, you know, they're not expensive, they're not cheap. The blank ones are obviously really cheap but then I had to buy all these stamps. Like this stamp was five, oh God, I can never show you anything, it never focuses. 525 yen. But obviously that stamp I can use every year. The only bummer about the cards is that most of them say 2011, so you have to pretty much use it this year. And even if you didn't, the Zodiac animal changes. So you can't really send a generic Happy New Year card like this that doesn't have the year on it, um, it the next year because it has bunnies on it and the animal next year will be something else. Um, so yeah, so it's turned out to be a lot of work. Um, I'm going really slow, and then I have to write Japanese and stuff, which, you know, I mean, you're writing the same set phrase over and over. Um, uh, so, you know, that's no big deal, but um, it, let's just hope these people appreciate it, darn it. So, today was Sunday. I, I've been kind of ensconced. I'm drinking out of my new Tron cup. Um, uh, that's all reflective. You're not going to be able to see that, but I went and saw Tron Legacy. Uh last night and bought the souvenir cup and uh, it was pretty good. I'm actually going to see it in IMAX again. Uh, Japan doesn't have that many IMAX theaters uh, but I'm going to go to Osaka with my brother who is now in Tokyo and I'm going to meet him up later in the week and uh, we're going to go see it with probably PJ Kansai. Kansai PJ. <laughs> I always say his name backwards. Um, and some other folks in the Kansai area 
uh, later in the week around Christmas. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. It is a visually stunning film, and I'll probably put a review up. Uh, I kind of talk about movies a lot over on my Taish Jason channel, so if you want to check that out. But anyway, um, you know, Nenga Joe are fun. Uh, they're really easy to do. I don't have a problem writing English on them because I figure it's a good way. I send them to a lot of former students and, you know, Japanese teachers and stuff. They can read English. The Japanese students, it's good practice for them. I don't write anything really complicated. A lot of the cards, though, will come with, let me just find you one, you know, with example sentences and uh, some Japanese pre-printed on them. You can buy, so, there's so many guys, uh, so many designs. So it's fun to do if you come, but um, yeah, you have to set aside some time if you want to make one uh, like I am here uh, with the stamps. But uh, no, they, they've been fun. I mean, I've been, I've been enjoying doing them. Oh, it's upside down again. So, you know, uh, Nenga Joe. Happy New Year. This might be the last vlog I post uh, before Christmas uh, because I'll be gone for a few days uh, hanging out with my brother. And then I've got one about Christmas cake. Uh, which is coming up, uh, so uh, enjoy that, and that'll probably get posted like Sunday the 26th, so maybe still Christmas for many of you. But I hope you have a nice holiday uh, with whatever you're doing, and uh, I'll probably post a few more times before the new year. Okay? Happy New Year. Peace.